Before the movie industry made Hollywood, California its home, there was Hollywood on the prairie right here in Lake County, Illinois. The following animation from the Dunn Museum illustrates the story of Edward Ament of Waukegan and his wonderful motion picture machine, the Magnoscope. Waukegan's motion picture industry of the 1890s. In 1894, one of Thomas Edison's kinetoscope parlors in Chicago was visited by electrical engineer and inventor Edward Emmett. He was impressed by Edison's moving picture viewing machine, the kinetoscope, but knew he could improve on it. Emmett thought, Wouldn't it be better if more than one person at a time could view moving pictures? Emmett returned home to Waukegan and built the Magnoscope, the first practical 35 millimeter motion picture projector. The Magnoscope was practical because it did not require electricity to operate. Operated by hand crank, and the light source could be an electric bulb or kerosene lamp. Amet and his business partner, George Spohr, put together the great motion picture show at Waukegan's Phoenix Opera House and showed Edison films on the Magnoscope, earning $400 in ticket sales. The Magnoscope went into production and was sold to traveling showmen. Amet wanted to provide films to sell with his projector and began making his own movies. He even pioneered the use of special effects props. Remarkably, he never patented his magnoscope, and his movie-making career stopped short when his fiercely competitive rival, Thomas Edison, sued him for using the 35-millimeter film format. Edward Amet's inventions include electric water wheel governor, method and means for localizing sound reproduction, synchronized sound camera and projector, automatic coin controlled ticket printing, weighing scale, the graphophone, and the guided torpedo.